Welcome everyone to Stroll with Addy and in this journey we'll be going from Australia to Philippines. Firstly we'll be heading from Melbourne to Manila, then we'll go to Tagatai, Koron, El Nido, Puerto Princesa and Boracay. So let's go to Tagatai. This is what the place looks like just outside the airport of Manila. This is the pickup area and then there's a parking lot as well. We've already organized a guide and a driver and we are just heading towards him right now. Let's go. Hello, hello. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. All right. This is the gentleman who's taking us to Tagatai. Our vehicle booking is already done, but I did not need to ask anyone else what the cost would be. But what I would suggest personally to you as well is do your homework, do your research and see who's going to charge you what because every people had a different price here at Manila so research guys so now we are just following the guide and the driver they're just taking us to the parking lot to their car then we go to Tagatai as you can see how powerful the Sun was as you could see the Sun directly coming to my camera and then you couldn't see anything the whole the layout the picture the quality changed but now let's get into our car so this is the car we're gonna go to Tagatai we've got Dante who's driving us Danny right there that's it. Lipina. Sorry guys, it's not Tagatai, Hi. it's Tagaitai. Hi. Sorry, Hi. apologies. Hi. My apologies. Hi. There was a lot of tollways in the city, uh, but this is one of them where you have to cross it and go to Tagaytay, pretty standard. All right, that's the traffic police. We gotta pass through under this bridge and take left and go to Tagaytay. Let's go. Now we are off the city and you'll see a lot of two wheelers and a lot of fancy modified vehicles. Alright guys, now we are less than halfway away from Tagaytay. Now on my right, as you can see this structure, which is the National Police Academy of Philippines. Alright guys, as you can see, we are in Tagaytay now. So this building here is a residential complex and it has hundreds of apartments in this building. So it's massive in Tagaytay. Now we are heading towards Balay Dako, which is the restaurant which serves Asian Filipino food and we'll be enjoying some Asian delight for our lunch. Let's go to Palay Taco. Okay guys, so we are at this place. Gonna check it out if the lunch is good here. So everyone's hungry, so maybe we'll just eat here. But the most important is we've got Charlotte who is vegetarian as well. So we have to get something vegetarian. Uh, let's go check it out. It looks amazing. Probably the view is good as well. Let's go. So that's the entrance. We just came from that side. And this place is in Tagaytay. Our hotel is not far away from here. It's called Tal Vista, but we'll eat our lunch here. So as you can see, it's uh, called Balay Dako, and the entrance looks something like this. Let's go in, check it out. Nice place. Got some ice cream gelatos. Hello, hello, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, look at this view. So that's the tal, and the volcano is right in the center. There's a net over here, so obviously you can't see it, but I will definitely show you more of the video later on. But first, guys, let's eat something. Cheers. Okay, so we have some bowl of rice, some vegetarian curry in Asian style, Filipino style, with mushroom and eggplant. We've got eggplant and beans stir fry, and we've got shrimp paste and pork on rice. Alright guys, we just had our lunch and the lunch was amazing, it was good and we also had a vegetarian food. I'm recording this guys, apologies, obviously there's a lot of noise at the back. So we had a lot of food for comparison of what we paid for and we paid like around 3500 pesos. So we divided by 4 for a fast and then 35 AUD was per person. And for whatever you get in Australia for $35, it was a lot of food. Overall, I would say it was a good food. Now we'll be heading from here to the People's Park, which is the viewpoint. And from there, we'll be looking at cinematic views of the Tal Lake and the Volcano. Let's go. This is their modified vehicle, which is also a public transport in Tagatai. 
as you can see from at the back right there our guide he just left us over there and now I'm, we are walking up so pretty much it's going to take us 500 meters from here I don't know, 10 minutes i guess so let's go guys let's check the viewpoint Guys, we are right at the top right now, so let's go check out the view from there. It looks amazing. You'll see the whole city from here, so let's go check it out. so we are at the top of the hill at the moment so this is called the viewpoint at Tagaytay city pretty much like you can see the city you can see the Tal lake which is right behind me and you can see the majestic volcano right there uh, we were planning to go to the volcano but apparently like there is some sulfur coming out of the water so it's sort of restricted to the tourist but uh, some of the people can take chances and then go but I don't think so we will do that it's a bit risky thing to do uh, but anyways we came here to see the Tal lake we'll have a good time here and after this we'll go back to our car then we'll go to our hotel which is the Tal Vista from there as well you will see the same view but uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be good or bad but then we'll check it out few moments later though we decided to go back to the hotel but we could not resist our eyes look at this beautiful Tal lake we decided to drive all the way down to the Tal lake then have a look from the shore but not go near the volcano because there is sulfur activity going on with the water so it's dangerous so we decided to go to the shore and look at this beautiful scenic guys like it's once in a lifetime bucket list ticked for us let's go we are right at the bottom of uh, Tal Lake. We came all the way down. Pretty tired. It took us like two hours. All the jiggly road turns and everything. We but we are right here. It's a moment to enjoy. So I'm gonna show you as well. Let's look at the view. Let's go. Yeah. You can't go there, that's the volcano. That's the volcano. After the eruption, it's like a desert. People live there. So when there's emergency evacuation, they come they, there? Yeah. They ran out of the island. From uh, from that island to this town, and a nearby town. Good opportunity to do the boat ride, but I think as the driver was saying that uh, because of the volcano sulfur coming out of the water, the tourists are not allowed to do it at the moment. But yeah, if they do allow it, then yeah, you can do it. Otherwise, maybe not. But as I was looking as well, there was not enough people doing the boat ride. Uh, and we are pretty, pretty tight with the time as well. We have to go check in the hotel and then we have to go other places too. Stay with me guys and I uh, will see you later. What's your name? Danny, Danny, Danny. Thank you, Danny, for showing us around. He's the legend. If you come to Jagatai, you're gonna see Danny. Danny and his son. Dante. Six and a half hours later. Welcome to Tal Vista Hotel. This is our stay for one night. So let's enjoy Tal Vista. Right, 
guys. So we are here to drink a cup of coffee and get some cake, I guess. So we'll see how the food is as well. Try some local cafe as well. So we came right across our hotel. So our hotel is right at the back, across the road, and there's this uh, cafe. So review is good. Let's go and check it out. All right. So it's called Mars Cafe. Nice and boutique, small. Looks very pretty. Alright guys, so we are in this cafe called Mars Cafe and looks beautiful from inside so as I showed you from outside as well, it's very boutique and beautifully presented so no one's in as well, it looks like it's just for us, we're gonna enjoy our cake and coffee right here, so let's go, let's drink some coffee and look at this guys, look at this, looks beautiful. So we ordered some cake and brownie and coffee, uh, I can't show you all because our, we were so hungry, the food was delicious so we just finished it all but there's few I'm gonna show you some chips with cheese and this chocolate crepe was delicious i just love it lovely coffee mars cafe at tagay Tai, just in front of our hotel which is tal vista hotel if you guys are here do not miss this it's amazing we stayed at tal vista so that's the hotel and this is the grand entrance looks amazing beautiful can see guys how beautiful this hotel looks like especially at night and the place where we were before clicking some photos we're gonna go right there as well to see the view and I'm sure you can see like all the lights lit up and it will look amazing the plan was to basically go in and chill in the pool area but it's already dark and it's already getting a little cold I wouldn't think pool would be a good idea as you can see the hotel looks very traditional it's like a cottage style nice and big reception so we had a massive day today we went uh, to see the Thal Lake and the volcano by the time we wait for our dinner I'm just gonna show you what it looks like at Tal Vista Hotel as you can see at the back as well the trees are lit with all the lanterns right in front of me there is a full moon and beside that there's a big ferris wheel and it's called sky ranch which is just beside our hotel basically sky ranch is a fun zone i'm gonna show you that in a moment and tell me in the comment how did you like it let's go check it out Alright guys, that's the first wheel that I was talking about. It's called Sky Ranch and as you can see, massive moon just beside that. Six and a half hours later. I really hope you liked this video again. If you liked it, stay with me guys. There'll be more video coming up. Like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time again while going to Koron. Adios from Eddie.